welcome back. You know, on February the 1st, a wheelchair basketball game will take place to raise funds for this year's Kids Comic Con. And joining us with all the details, we have Alex Simmons, co-founder of Kids Comic Con. We welcome you to the show. Good morning. Thank all you right. for having Good me. Good morning. So tell us all about it. You've been doing it for how long and wow. how does it look? How does it feel? Where's it going to be? How much time we got? <laughs> Just keep going. Yeah, okay. So Kids Comic Con is an initiative that was started over 13 years ago. Yeah. Um, Eugene Adams is the other co-founder. He's a director of educational outreach for Bronx Community College. Uh -huh. We met. We both you know, were into comics, reading, literacy, all of that. And I was teaching workshops for kids. And we just started talking about wouldn't it be great to be able to do an event for kids, especially in this yeah. community, because you know it's a little expensive downtown when you go to some of these others. So 2007, we did one on the campus. I invited a lot of artists. I write comics. Yeah. So I invited a lot of the artists and editors I know. They came up. It just, vendors came, and before mm -hmm. you knew it, instead of this little bitty thing, we had something like 45 artists who were there to meet the kids, talk to them, do workshops with them, and we had something like yeah. 800 people turn out that, that first time, and we've been doing it ever since. Uh, we've also traveled uh, a little bit up and down the East Coast from Buffalo to Florida. Yeah. And yeah. in 2010, we went to Africa, oh, Senegal. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. The University of Dakar and a school, the Senegalese American Bilingual School. Try and say that six times fast. <laughs> <laughs> but in collaboration with them and the American Embassy, we did two, uh, 10 days there of workshops yeah. and working with uh, something like 1,500 kids in, in the city of uh, Dakar. Yeah, I, I like it. So you're moving around and getting that exposure and letting people know creating that, that, that great awareness. Tell us about the game. The game, well, um, one of the artists who came to us about three years ago, actually started volunteering photographer there, but he started drawing and everything. His name is Jimmy Jeffries. He's, um, I think the most political way to say this is he, ha he has, uh, his, his legs uh, have been, you know, you'll see a photograph of him, I think. Big I gave up you to one. JJ. Yeah, but anyway, J uh, he's just a wonderful guy. Um, he loved the event, and he said, you know, I would love to do something for this. And he's a member of the Bulova Nets wheelchair basketball team oh, in New Jersey. Oh, really? And they do a lot of these events all over. So he said, let's do a wheelchair basketball fundraiser for Kids Comic Con. So his team of all wheelchair-bound uh, basketball players, not professionals, but they, they do it well, yeah. uh, will go up against our team, the KCC Comets, which are all volunteers. So it'll be some high school students, it'll be some artists, it'll be just people who are not wheelchair-bound. So you should see this yeah. game. It's going to be funny. It's going to be funny, but great. You ever hear of a man by the name of uh, Hank Carter? No, I didn't. And he has something called Wheelchair Charities Incorporated. Oh, okay. And they named the hospital, the old North General Hospital in Harlem. They named that hospital after him, the Henry J. Carter Hospital. No, I didn't know about that. And he deals with uh, mostly people. Not, we, he dealt with the Nets and the NBA to come together to raise money for people uh, in wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. So maybe you should get to, I'll, you know, well, we'll hook up. We'll, we'll get it, some information it would be too. great. We're, we're also working with the Wheelchair Sports Federation out of New Jersey. So to connect with this other group would yeah, be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so definitely get the information from All right. Them. So anybody can attend? Anybody can attend. The, 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 the uh, admission at the door is only $5. Uh, it's being held at the um, University Heights High School on St. Yeah. Anne's. So oh, okay, it's yeah. easy to get to. The two train, I think, is right near there. You got the buses. You can drive. There's parking. Believe it or not, <laughs> <laughs> and it's Saturday, February first. You know, it's just for a couple of hours of good times and artists. And uh, one of the things that was donated to us for a raffle uh -huh. is a boxing glove owned and worn uh -oh. by Jake Raging Bull Lamada. Lamada. Yes. Ah, there you go. So we're going to be raffling that off, also to help raise money for you know KCC and the events and things we do with kids. That's that's excellent. That's excellent. You know, Iran Barkley lives up in the area. He's out of the Bronx. Iran Barkley, maybe we can get him to come on down also. You know, the door is wide Mark open. Grilling. Anybody yeah. you can get there to help, because it's all for kids. I mean, the, the bottom line of our organization for the past 13, going on 14 years, is to validate and support kids' imagination. Mm -hmm. If a child can't imagine that one day I want to grow up to be this, or one day I can grow up and do that, if they don't see that now, yeah. then they have trouble deciding, well, why do I need to learn anything? Why do I need to focus? Why do I need to do anything? You know, because nothing's going to happen. So yeah. we're about, you know, imagine the possibilities, then work out a plan to make that uh, a reality. And we have a lot of people who have been very supportive over the years. Yeah, and this helps out a lot of people, not only people in wheelchairs, but helping other oh, people to understand absolutely. that things like this need to go on. Absolutely. And it's also inspirational because, again, you know, a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, um, 
times are hard or I don't have this or I don't have that. And you see folks who theoretically Absolutely. are supposedly limited and they're not. They're not. And they're not. They're so, not. you know, if they can, you can. You know? you know, it's just it, it's all about inspiration. They used to house a lot of people in wheelchairs um, on Roosevelt Island. Yes. Um, I was actually I was born there. Yeah, see? See, yeah, yeah. And there was a man, you probably saw him riding around. He was on a, a, a long table and had wheelchair wheels on it so he can reach down yep. and he was a half a person. Mm -hmm. But he didn't want you to see him as a half a person. And I didn't treat him that way and nobody else did. He can play pool, he'll whoop your tail <laughs> on that pool table. And that's the way, you know, Yeah. he wanted to be like a regular person. And, and he that's was. That's the way he treated And he treated absolutely him. was. Yeah. All the people that I've known who've been challenged physically or otherwise, my mother was le legally blind. It doesn't stop them. If the spirit is there, if the heart is there, the drive is there, the support is there, it doesn't stop them. Yeah, they yeah. do more than people expect. To them, it's norm. And, yep. and that's the way it should be. And we should all get, like I said, a little inspiration from that. Absolutely. Where can we go to uh, get more information? Well, aside from the, the, the marvelousness of our website, which is kidscomiccon.com, we're on social media, just like everybody else. We're on social yeah. media. So we're on Facebook. We have a page. We're on Instagram. Is KCC Fun for All, and we're on Twitter as the Kids Comic Con. So, you know, literally, go to Facebook, go to our website. We'll tell you exactly where to be, when to be there, and how much fun you'll have. Beautiful. Thank you. Same here. Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> Thank you. You the man. Yeah, I try. <laughs> no, no, you the man. <laughs> All right, we the man. We the man. That's, right. that's two men. Yes, that's dos men. Right? <laughs> <laughs> There you go. You need any volunteers, anybody to absolutely, help out? Absolutely, absolutely. Reach us, uh, reach out to us, Wait, rather. I have a camera. You oh, we have a 30 camera? 30 seconds, 30, 30 seconds. Reach out to us on our website or on our Facebook page, kidscomiccon.com, and if you want to volunteer, we'd love to have you there, absolutely. And the website again is? Kidscomiccon.com. Alex Simmons, co-founder, kidscomiccon.com. Eugene Adams, big up to you. Yeah. We'll see you the next time, too. Come back, bring some pictures and videos and all that. You got okay? it. Pleasure. You got Thank it. you. All right, we're going to take a quick break. But I promise we'll be right back with more next.